Hey guys, Kibi here, bringing another Total War Online Battle. This one is on Napoleon Total War, so my personal favourite. Um, it is a 2v2, the map is Borodino. The rules were, no artillery, and a maximum of 5 light infantry or skirmishes. Um, due to this, both me and Drew are playing as Great Britain, because out of the... With those rules, I would have picked three, one of three uh, factions. Great Britain... France or Prussia, because both Great Britain and Prussia have very good infantry, particularly Britain has the strongest line of tree in the game, and France has some pretty good cavalry as well as elite infantry like the old guard. So both me and Jimmy are playing as Great Britain. Um, my my opponent who I'm facing is playing as Prussia, um, due to the fact that they, they were the third choice out of the three I would have picked, uh, because they have, Prussia has good line of infantry. Um, this opponent, though, went Russia. Now, I was saying to Jimmy, because we were loading, I wonder why this guy has gone Russia. Because the only reason you would... The only reason most players go Russia is to use their unicorns or artillery. Because Russia has some, other than that, very limited units. Uh, it's got some pretty good militia, but other than that, no. So anyway, I'm, I'm facing against Prussia at the beginning. Jimmy is facing against Russia. Um... I'll go, I'll go through my units, so I have, hmm, I've got two, two Dragoon units, uh, two, two, let me just find them, two Foot Guard units, so I've got some Elite Infantry here, I believe I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I've got seven basic foot line infantry units, five uh, rifles, skirmishes, and one general staff. Uh, Jamuk has got. He, he's got. Well, whereas I went for numbers, uh, quantity, he's gone for quality, because a lot more of his units are upgraded, for example. Well, only only two of his units are upgraded. Uh, well, no. Oh, no. Yeah, look, he's, he's got lots of upgrades, whereas I was only able to afford a few. Uh, the the Black Watch here, they do superb. I will show you later, but that is one good performance. Um, so I, I get a basic double line screened. Uh, I'll show you that now. So I get my rifles in front, my line of stream behind, Dragoons on each flank in general in the middle. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, as you can see, I'm still I'm still reforming, but that's the basic. Oh no, that's Jamuk's army, what the heck. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, here we go. Uh, I spread my guys out two lines thick, because that's generally the best if you're playing online, because you can, you know, spread across the battlefield. Um, now, this guy was uh, five star. I'm five star, Jamuk's five star, so three five stars here. He might be a four star, I don't know. Uh, but this guy was a nice guy. This guy up here, he was a one star. Now, I notice he starts on this hill. I actually want to show you his deployment because I find it incredibly funny. Um, but he 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 wasn't the best opponent in the world. I'm just going to say that. Just uh, fast forward this. So yeah, like I said, double line screen, rifles in front, line of a tree behind, general in the middle, dragoons on each flank. Uh, yeah, here we go. Our opponent completely cheated. He brought tons of rockets. Um, I suppose his excuse could be that he was a one star, he didn't know what was going on, he didn't understand the rules, but we made it pretty clear. Now, what I, I, not only were me and Jamuk pretty angry about this, we were saying, why did you bring rockets? He purposely said so, and he's laughing away. His ally here, who's playing as Prussia, was agreeing with us. He wasn't happy either that this person had cheated. Now, what I find funny about his deployment, everyone was facing the wrong way. Everyone was facing around the back, and his general was at the front, because he thought it would be at the back. So, <laughs> that was quite funny. But uh, he swivels around his rockets, and straight from the start, we are screwed. His more well, no, it's more. His rocket troop can hit us pretty much anywhere on this map. Uh, anyway, I'm actually just quickly pause this. Got to go eat, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, um, I was just eating breakfast. Uh, yeah, it's quite early in the morning. Uh, also got myself a cup of tea. So yeah, uh, that, that guy completely cheated. So me and Jamuk, we weren't very happy, neither was this guy. So we were saying, okay, let's, let's at least have a fair and decent battle against Prussia. Uh, if we beat Prussia, then we will consider it a win. If Prussia beats us, then of course they win. Because look, look, he's able to hit us from the spawn, which is just 
ridiculous, and we we're going to struggle to get him because he we there's only two ways up this hill we can get there and there, and they're just absolutely swarming with troops. So I mean, Jamut does have a go, but it completely obliterates his army, um, which you will see. I'm going to attack Prussia. I try to refrain my double line screen, so first of all I'm setting up my rifles, as you can see. My green jackets. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this mini map up here. If you guys want oh, sorry. If you guys want, feel free to just whenever you want look at the mini map and um see what ha what's happening with Jamuk and the Russian, because I'm probably gonna be focusing more on myself <clears throat> and my battle against Prussia. So uh, yeah, I, I start marching all of my men back in in exactly the same position, just closer to Prussia's lines, because he he's got he's got a better defensive position. So we're going to have to attack, because he's not moving. Um, so we start mar well, I start marching forward whilst under mortar fire. He's you know com he's taking out a lot of my units already. Uh, for for the beginning of a battle, you do not want these losses. It's just ridiculous, um, and really. I don't see why people purposely break the rules, I don't see why they cheat, because it's not fun, it's not funny, and it just completely ruins the battle, as well as, you know, the enjoyment for not only yourself, but everyone else. And it's just, I don't, I don't understand why people do it. I can clearly see why he is a one star, though. I mean, I... It might be that he's a one-star because he's only just got the game and that's why he's cheating, blah, 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 blah. It might also be because he cheats regularly and that means that he, people are always getting pissed off at him and more experienced players than us are always beating him and making him look terrible in ranked battles. So this isn't a ranked battle and so he loses his uh, stars. Whereas I, I like to keep my stars. I've got five stars. Um, but I don't really do ranked battles anymore. <clears throat> but yes, yeah, so... Just casually moving up. Let's go see what Jamuk's doing. So he he is moving uh, his un he's moving some of his units up here because the problem with Jamuk not only does he have to attack this hill with the guys cheating, he's also got to find crossings on the river. So he has to send a ton of his army up here to this crossing, as you can see he's doing right now. Uh, some of his army could go around here, but uh, I don't think he immediately does that because that is just a, a huge risk. So close to the Prussians was sorry, the Russians with all the this building has fallen to the enemy. Over here, as you can see, uh Prussia has taken this building. That that that, that doesn't really you'll see that nothing really happens there. I've 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 got uh, pretty close to the uh, Prussian lines now. I'm just settling I'm allowing my men to rest slightly, getting them all into position before I advance to attack. Um as you can see. Still under fire from the rockets. <clears throat> uh, I was hoping one of them would be playing the flute. Unfortunately not. No one's bothering to play their music today. Uh, as you see, Jamut sent some Royal Scots Greys over here and he's going to extend his line along here. Oh yeah, he, he has sent some units up here, but it's this incredible risk and um, you'll see what happens. Well, his, his Scots Grade is getting absolutely pounded by their uh, rockets. He's he's, compl he's splitting his army to try and take out Russia, but uh, unfortunately uh, he's in such a position that it's th this guy really. Ah, uh, yeah, guys, don't don't ever cheat on games like this. It's just it's not skill. It's not fun. You know. Anyway, uh, me and me and Prussia are going to attempt to have a good battle as hopefully you shall see. And Jamuk does get involved, he does help out. Infantry reporting. <clears throat> just go see what Jamuk's doing, because I'm not really doing anything at the moment, I'm just slowly preparing my man. He's got his rifles, he's trying he's gonna try and skirmish up there. <clears> hmm. <throat> <coughs> okay, sorry, I had to clear my throat. His his rocket shot from over there all the way over, and he started attacking my general with the rockets. 
So yeah. <clears throat> I just see this guy's deployed stakes. Um I suppose I don't know if he did it as a, against a cavalry attack or for the same reason I soon deploy my stakes. As you see I'm moving up to an attacking position. <clears throat> and now I'm moving up my infantry. I'm only moving up this section because there's a river here that cuts cuts it off. So these guys are reserved as it were. And you'll see them come into play later. These are these are mainly my elite troops, my f uh, my foot guards who are both upgraded with one chevron, and two of my basic foot units have, who both had the uh, chevrons. Whereas these guys have no upgrades, so the reserve force is my best uh, units. Reserve force are my best units. So now I'm just you know ever so slowly creeping my rifles up, so I'm just about in range. Um, as you can see, I keep gradually moving, step by step. <clears throat> as you can see again, there's a weird texture bug there. But yeah, um, now I now I deploy stakes, not necessarily because he has cavalry, because he does have cavalry, but it's mainly for the fact that it actually gives me cover uh, behind stakes, so that you know it's uh, a bit, bit uh, more effective. Uh, just deploying our stakes. Before getting back into the uh, skirmish position. And then I start firing and fighting against him. <clears throat> I, I do outnumber his skirmishers, and Britain does have the best skirmishers. Britain has both the best line infantry and the best skirmishers, so I've got a good mix here. Um, and my skirmishers, not only do I outnumber him, I uh, outskill him. And so these guys start losing. However, they, they, they I'm gonna just go say it now, they do not immediately die. Now whilst I'm fighting here, I start I so I, I don't know why they're going that way, I quickly changed that. But I st I send my reserve force round here, including one of my dragoon units, round here to this crossing. Or this is the only other crossing on the river. Fr from here all the way to here, I can't cross the river. I can cross here, and I can, of course, cross where I'm fighting. So I'm going to try and cross around here, get a nice flanking maneuver uh, on my opponent. However, I see Russia is, uh, yeah, i got some elite units here, so I don't really want to risk that. So I say to Jamuk, uh, please can you, um, please can you send some units over to engage uh, Russia here, or to at least distract Russia so I can slip my units around to that flank. Um, and so he starts setting up some elite units, says his Coldstream guards here, as you can see, uh, as well as basic foot units and rifles. He also has his Scots Greys come sometime. I don't know where they've gone. Actually, here's my reserve force. Here's my dragoons. Here's two of my, f here's my two foot guard units, and here's my two reserve foot units. And I'm still skirmishing it out here. He sent he sent his uh, fusiliers for with their light infantry. And then, of course, his rifles, his uh, Silesian Schutzen, or whatever they're called. <coughs> I'm not the best at pronouncing. I kind of try to wrap my rifles around here, so they bend away from their stakes slightly. Ah, yeah, they're playing the flute. Good. <laughs> Yeah, so Jamuk starts skirmishing with Russia's uh, lifeguards. Of, well, I think they're yeah lifeguard foot, and I I halt my reserve force here until they're skirmished. Now, whilst I have been winning this skirmish fight, Prussia starts to win by the fact that they uh, they they form behind the river and start just taking out my unit. Thankfully, they've got close enough for my line infantry to support fire. Uh, but this is where I, I start to wrap around his right flank. Uh, so, because the, the thing is, here, this is... Because Jamuk engaged the lifeguard afoot, they've actually become more of a distraction than a flanking maneuver this side, so he starts sending a ton of units, possibly more than he should have, over here to stop this uh, flank, which, as I say, is more like a distraction now. And this means I need a new plan, and my new plan, 
I, I sent some of my foot guard units uh, up here, right along his right flank, as well as some dragoons. <clears throat> As well as still skirmishing out here. Now th this is where my units start running. By the time this battle is over, I'm not going to tell you if I win or not, you'll have to watch to find out. I'm not going to tell you exactly what happened, you have to watch to find out. I'm just going to say, my guys have run so far, because from now I pretty much don't stop running because I don't have a chance to stop running. Not if I want to get into my good positions. I see he's charging his lances over to uh, engage with Jamuk. Jamuk's, uh, I, d I don't know what's happening. My, my reserve force is still queuing up and then I'll set it to support Jamuk. But uh, Jamuk's just gone kamikaze, is it, in a sense? <laughs> Banzai charge. Yeah, as you see, my units have lined up here. They're currently not in range. And so, in a minute, yeah, here we go, I start moving them forward to better positions uh, so that I can, you know, really get on his flank and uh, get a nice crossfire going. So this is a nice uh, wrapping maneuver here. And I remember, I've got these Dragoons as cover, because otherwise you think that's pretty risky, but uh, always nice to have some cavalry supporting. <coughs> I saw he had his units in the house here, but I just ignored them, because there's only one unit, and I really need to get his flank. So yeah, I start firing onto his flank here. These guys need to move a bit more, because they're not quite in range. Here we go. Alright, now they should start firing. Now they should be in range. Let's see. Yep, here we go. So I get a nice crossfire here. I, I, these guys just get stuck out in the open, blasted from pretty much all angles. So the, his, his rifles go down, and I start engaging his uh, lines up here. As you see, these guys are caught in crossfire as well, so they start losing. Um, but uh, that is where I'm not going. I'll show you when it when it comes up. I'm not going to tell you. I start advancing uh, my some of my line infantry as well as support. Uh, so I've got four men on this flank, and I only keep this one in reserve for now. As you see, my units have advanced. I get them in the line because Prussia kind of starts to become intent on attacking on this flank. So th this is this has become my distraction, as it were, instead of my flanking maneuver. I, I'm just casually sitting behind Jamuk because there's not enough room here, really, to have a big fight. Uh, these are oh, his Jamuk's Royal Scots Grace. He pulled them back because they were getting blasted by rockets. You see, I'm still fighting here. No one's routed yet. Now, look, I don't, I don't actually notice this at first, but he sends his musketeers out the building, and he's going to try and stab me in the back. I don't notice it first, but eventually I do. As you see, these units have lined up on the flank. In a second, they are going to start firing. Um, there we go. So there we go. So now I'm starting to wrap around him on this flank. This unit starts to shoot into my back. I don't really realise. These guys are really depleted. I do. I think it's about... Mm, as soon as he starts firing, that I realise. Yeah, yeah, here we go, he started firing. Now, I brought my general up, I used up one, I used up my rally ability on these units to keep them going. Then I, in I inspired that unit, because these guys are really, you know, starting to look bad. Our men are running, sir. But, uh, th these guys do run, from the fact that they are, kind of, yeah. Uh, but I charged my Dragoons into this guy's unit. And that's the end of them. Because for some reason he doesn't bother forming the square. Because I'm pretty sure he knew by the way he tried to counter charge. Anyway, I start setting up my final foot unit here. As he to fill in that gap. These guys are starting to become depleted, but I have I've completely destroyed one unit here. These guys are really suffering. Uh, on this flank, nothing's really happening anymore.
Now th this is a really, really, really very point blank uh, range fight firefight here. I've, I've had I've had closer firefights, but uh, bear in mind how depleted these units are. For an for an online battle, this is quite odd because usually your players will want to get them as far away as possible unless they're going to go into melee. Anyway, I charged my dragoons in his support. He wasn't expecting that. These guys do run, but it doesn't matter because I've caught his uh, caught his musketeers off guard with my dragoons. They don't have time to form square. I also form these. Uh, I make them go sideways to attack them, but they, they've gone now. So I quickly form up here. I form a square quite slowly, but they do manage to form a square loop. And so I can, I'm able to take out this cavalry. I also start to reform my line along here uh, to take out the rest of them. He, he started pulling his units, some of his units back because so he realizes that I've broken through on this right flank now. Yes, sir. Ah, I just use another general's ability to uh, rally my troops, so I've used up all of my rally abilities now. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I completely take out his um, cavalry, because not only are they engaging my dragoons, so I have a square formation here. I reform my line, I pull my dragoons out. I, oh yeah, I've advanced my rifles so they can start shooting up here. So yeah, complete crossfire I've got here. Over here we started advancing our men. I, I literally just told them to charge into this unit pretty much. Uh, so that's what they're doing. He's my elite units, remember. We're also being blo that that's Jamuk's unit, I believe. We're also being blasted out by the Russians, rockets, and uh, lifeguards. So it's a pretty risky maneuver. I get my dragoons up, but they form square. I don't think I realised. And my dragoons over here start running because they were shot at. Um, but my infantry here start to charge up, and uh, his uh, foot guards up here. As you can see. And here's Jamut's cold streams who was supporting. Uh, he's gonna, in fact, he's gonna try and take out the lifeguards. He uh, Jamut's desperate to get onto this flank and take out the Russians. He's also, you know, trying everything he can to get up this hill and uh, yeah, but as you can see that's just not working. Oh, who's this? Oh yeah, my dragoons here who were caught in the square started running. Um so I, I actually reform my line along here, and I start going on this flank as well as on here, which I have started depleting units. He started sending them away. I wrap around these flanks, so this unit in the middle is engaging directly. These two are on the side. I'm against light infantry at the moment, and it's uh, very close, so my line infantry is probably going to win. <clears throat> I'm also still with my riflemen. Some close-up action here. As you can see, we have higher morale um, from this battle. Alright, I've tried to form my line here. These two units are in line firing. This unit was caught in melee. Or these two units were caught in melee. Uh, but the, re the rest of these units are uh, firing it here. Hmm. This one I start to be my, my rifleman up to support on this flank. Because I've pretty much taken this uh, defensive position. He these units start to rout, as you can see. That, that unit's routing. This unit, he's actually pulling back. Um, I keep firing until they're gone, and then I go into, you know, just completely corner this guy off and crush him from both sides. Um, he, he does still have a chance to turn around and defeat me. My riflemen are unguarded, as you can see, so there is something that's open. Um, these guys are actually walking for once. Uh, I think this is the only other time that they're walking other than at the beginning. Oh no, look, they started running again. So they're going to be pretty exhausted. I mean, it says they're fresh, but that's probably because we've been standing around shooting for ages. Yeah, I reform my line here quickly. Uh, we shoot it, we finish off those units. I managed to destroy this unit in melee, and... Oh no! Russia has sent some uh, curious uh, into my back, but that just really doesn't work. Because... Four, four uh, upgraded British line of three units, square or not, 
are going to be able to defeat one um, upgraded curious uh, unit. And bear in mind, two of my units are foot guard, so they're elite infantry. Yep, my only problem is the rockets. He's blasting at me as well as Jamuk, because Jamuk's just really losing his units. So yeah, I defeated them, I've reformed my line and I'm able to fire now. <clears throat> As you see, I'm reforming on this flank with a mini version of my original line. I take two of my rifle units to join this. The rest of them, I've moved up slightly so I can shoot into the back of my opponent. They're not quite in range. Uh, as you can see, I've lost all my units. I, that, that's not because of the enemy, that's because of the rockets. These these things are deadly. Uh, they're deadly morale killers. But, that's, uh, but like I say, we're uh, trying to take out Prussia, and not Russia, because Russia cheated, so we are just ignoring them. There's a melee fight between his foot guards and my foot guards here. Ah, uh, they're both upgraded. Uh, but my units are winning, even though they've got less, due to the fact that it's just British foot guards, uh, best foot guards. De debatable best foot guards in the game. Possibly the old guard could beat them. In fact, the old guard could beat them. No. No, the old... They're about equal to the old guard, I'd say. Them and the cold streams are about the same. But yeah, both units are out, because mine and the rockets, those because of, uh, the melee. So they're shattered, these are shattered. So I've only got two of these units left on this flank, but he's pulled back up onto this hill. I just reform all my men and prepare for a big assault. Let's go look at what Jamuk's doing. So Jamuk has just pretty much lost all of his units trying to assault this hill. Because this guy cheated. He had absolutely no chance and I, I actually feel really, really sorry for Jamuk because whilst I actually had a decent battle against Russia, he, he spent his whole time pretty bored as it were. We have killed their general, sir. Uh, we... I killed the Prussian general here. Yeah. He, uh... He pretty much just walked his general across this river and I shot him to pieces. Sorry you didn't see that. Um, I, I tried to reform my men here before pushing up. I, I'm not going to attack uphill. I'm going to go across the side where I've got more room. Despite my units being very, uh... depleted and worn out. Now, the reason these Curiouses lost in a melee fight with the rifles is because they ran to the uh, stakes. Now, the rifles are routing because they were shot by rockets at the same time. The rockets, of course, are causing tons of units to rout. So, this is Jamuk's final unit. 42nd foot, the Black Watch. These guys are superb. I cannot express how brave these soldiers were. Uh, that comes later on, though. This comes um, after this small engagement of uh, Prussia. I'm just going to speed this up. <clears throat> See, he's just completely blasting my units with those rockets. And that's really killing my morale as well as my men. So yeah, that's not good. He rushes, as you can see in distance, like send all his men on that hill. Prush is actually marching forward, um, which is fair enough. It means I it means I have to start making my men run again. They they are very worn out. It says they're fresh, but they're not. Hey, here you go. It says very tired actually. The rifles are fresh because they were just standing around shooting. So now I start shooting uh, Prussia. This unit's already almost destroyed. There, right, they've just shattered. He's only got two units left. Um, And I'm, I'm this whole time I'm being blasted by the rockets. They they uh, are causing problems. One of our units has used all its and yeah, th this is this is this is where things start to turn bad. My my units start to run out of ammunition, and I'm constantly being bombarded with rockets. So yeah, despite me outmatching these, uh, both outnumbering and outmatching these Prussian units, I am really starting to struggle. Uh, because they're both the rockets and, of course, the ammunition. If my general wasn't in this battle, I would have lost. He just rallied, uh, yeah, he just rallied my units. I think that was the last ability he had, but um, my units would have been destroyed by the rockets had he not been there. So he, he could have, he could possibly, depending on if I win or not, have saved my battle. 
<clears throat> As you see, these these guys are not quite in range. Now these guys are. But uh, it's a bit close for comfort. So I'm looking at this now, I probably should have moved my infantry up a bit earlier. I I think I did move them up. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Let's look at it from Prussia's side. These are his good guns. Yeah, I, I, another unit's used up ammo now. <clears throat> just, just get some slow motion. So now, they I don't know what they're doing now. Moving. Yeah, enough slow motion. Now I see Prussia's lines are getting really thin, I start to move my line infantry up, um, as I should have probably done earlier. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. And this unit's just used up his, that, uh, that unit's ammo, so that's, uh, that's pretty much done. So I charge, just that charge, but it's probably not that charge, but uh, it happened to be the same time I charged, but um, they started routing, as you can see. And there we go, that, that is Prussia defeated. So Prussia's out the game. So now I'm going to consider this a victory, because as I said earlier, if we take out Prussia, I'm considering it a victory, because Prussia did not cheat, Russia did. Um, I just, th this unit hasn't quite shattered, they're only broken, so I'm just chasing them to make sure they don't come back. Um, now now this, is, this is where things get good. I say, okay, I'll, I'll end the match now. Jamut says, no, wait, I'm going to see how many units I can kill with my Black Watch. So he, he manages to sneak past Russia, who, who for some reason is in a ton of squares, I don't know why. And take he starts taking out uh, Russia's rocket troops on this side. Because these guys are just so... He goes to engage these Russian Jaegers. I'm just allowing my men to rest now. Um, I've, I've stopped chasing them because they're right at the edge of the battlefield now. Uh, he's still firing his rockets, believe it or not, at this range. Yeah, he's missing. He's firing his rockets. Watch. And even if they miss, it's still low morale. So. Now, now he's engaging these units. Let's see what damage he can do. Speed things up. I'm speeding this up because it's pretty much the same thing, the shooting. Um, and he, it, it, it gets kind of repetitive with the amount of units engaging and stuff. Combat aren't winning decisively. Uh, as you can see, he, he's got some Jaegers coming up on this flank. He's just taken out one of the units here. He's still got the square though. So he starts to move because the Jaegers. Um. Mm. Actually, he just randomly runs his Jaegers in front of uh, Jamuk's men. He tries to fire at close range. Jaegers are a long range unit, so that was stupid. These guys tried to charge, and uh, Jamuk kind of counter attacks. Engages the Jaegers, that was very sensible. Jaegers are not a melee unit. And the Black Watcher upgraded. Uh, so, pretty good at melee. Mm. He's winning decisively. So, there we go. Jaeger, that's another unit gone, the Jaegers. I've started uh, moving my units up because, whilst I said I would end the battle, seeing as we have concluded it as a victory, um, I'm, I'm still going to you know, give it a go, do one of those suicide charges because this unit finally breaks after taking about. I th five, six, seven units uh, overall in this battle. That's how many the Black Watch took. Uh, that wasn't all the units it took out. Now, the, the difference between me and Jamuk is Jamuk had one unit, elite unit. He was able to sneak up 
um, you know, on the hill to take out Russia. I don't have any cover, I don't have any sneaky uh, upgraded units, I'm very depleted after taking out Prussia, and so I'm constantly getting bombarded by his rockets. Now this causes a problem, uh, because my morale is lowered before I can even charge, most of my units are out of ammo. Now remember, this this is I'm this guy's not even worth strategy. He's not even worth skill. So I just do a banzai charge into that square. I try to hide my general behind this hill so he doesn't get killed. But for some reason, rockets are magically able to just do that. Fire over the hill uh, so accurately, and so my general flees, um, which lowers even more morale. But like I say, I'm not really bothered due to the fact that this guy is not worth strategy. I'm just going to banzai charge it, um, kamikaze charge into him. I, both me and Jamuk consider this as a victory, in the sense we took out um, Prussia. You see, I'm charging up this hill, my riflemen first, in melee, because they've run out of ammo. Now, I, I'm, I've got really low morale from the fact that I've got depleted Our units, my general has just fled, and I've been con I'm still being bombarded by rockets. And so, you know, I don't even have a chance. Also, I'm going uphill against elite units. So, of course, I'm going to lose, but it's just for the fun, because, it, like I said a hundred times before, this guy is not worth fighting, properly. If he wants to cheat, then sure, but he, that means I'm not going to bother with him either. Uh, so, uh, I'm just going to fast forward this, because it's pretty much I charge up round certain, and that's it. <clears throat> game to my Prussian opponent. Russia, you cheated. Th this is the worst part. He will silence the entire match. As soon as it ended, he started boasting. So, Dougie, SB, no. No. Good game to Jamuk, good game to Kevin the Chemist, who is playing as Prussia. Russia, don't cheat. Thank you very much for watching. Please please comment, rate, and subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have some more Skyrim coming soon. Hopefully some more other Total War online battles. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Skipper Plays Total War. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.